What's good, everybody, man? It's the kid, DC Wrestling, back at again one other video, man. Here to bring you all your Friday, March 4th, 2022 edition of Friday Night SmackDown. Now, before I get into this vid, man, might as well say it. If you haven't checked out my AEW Revolution predictions, go check it out. Speaking of AEW Revolution, man, I am actually going to be doing an AEW Rampage review immediately following the conclusion of AEW Rampage. Because not only is this weekend MSG, Impact Wrestling, control your narrative, but it's, it's also uh, AEW Revolution Sunday night as well. So with that being said, let us get into the SmackDown review. I thought this was a really good episode of SmackDown from start to finish. We kick things off, man, right away. The Intercontinental Championship on the line between Ricochet and Sami Zayn. This was a really good match, man. Obviously, when you have someone like Ricochet, who's one of, if not the, the best high flyer in the world, and Sami Zayn, you know, it's just, it's going to be a great match. And I thought this was a really great match, man. Back and forth, you know, high flying, like I said, ability from Ricochet. But in the end, man, we saw Johnny Knoxville coming out, distracting Sami. And of course, this leads to Ricochet hitting him with the modified Huracarana that is Zayn, pinning him and becoming the new Intercontinental Champion. You know what? I'm cool with this. Obviously, you can do Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn without the Intercontinental Championship. And hopefully, man, this leads to maybe Ricochet getting a really great reign over the Intercontinental title. I think he could do some pretty good things with that title. But yeah, man, after that, we get a shocking and interesting appearance from Raw superstar Austin Theory. Now, Theory's like, hey, I may be on Raw, but where I'm the protege of WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon who is here tonight, so wherever Vince goes, I go. And he go, comes at Pat McAfee, he's like, hey, man, you and McAfee, like, like Pat, Pat, you have Vince on your show? Cool. But we saw one on the show, man. You're having a match mania. Well, guess what? Your opponent is right here. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. At WrestleMania, it's going to be Austin Theory versus Pat McAfee. Now, Pat's like, bro, I don't even know who you are, like, bro. Like, So Pat was kind of going in on Austin Deary there, but yeah, man, Austin Deary and Pat McAfee, it's a interesting matchup, you know, but hey, it is what it is at the end of the day, and, um, but yeah, really, really interesting, Pat McAfee versus Austin Deary, I never thought I would say those two names in the same sentence, let alone a match between one another, but yeah, man, we had Naomi taking on one half of the tag team champions, Carmella, I mean, this was a solid match. You knew who was going to win. Naomi drops Carmella, hits the split-legged moonsault for the win. I think it's pretty obvious who's going over here at WrestleMania between these four ladies. It's it's going to be, of course, Zelina Vega and Carmella. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding, y'all. We all know who's going to win that match. <laughs> don't, 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 don't cancel me for that. Uh, can't, we got to get rid of cancel culture anyways, guys. But anyways, man, we see Drew McIntyre taking on Jinder Mahal. Uh, this is another solid match, man. You had Jinder, like, take it down Drew and stuff. But in the end, Drew gets that Claymore kick. He gets the win there, and he stands over Jinder Mahal as he, you know, goes on about how no one can stand Corbin, and, and he has no locker room respect. So I'm going to be doing the world a favor. I'm going to beat you, and I'm going to end Corbin's undefeated streak as Happy Corbin, of course. So <clears throat> after all that, man, we get a really good promo, man, from the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns as he comes out and he's talking about like how, you know, while everybody else probably doesn't want Brock to not just defend his title, but not even make it to Mania, I want Brock to be at Mania because you see last year, I stacked Edge, I stacked Daniel Bryan, I smashed him, I stacked him, I'm pin him, and this year, I'm going to stand over Brock Lesnar's body with the WWE Championship on one hand and the Universal Championship on the other, I'm going to hold them titles up fireworks popping, pow, 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 and 50,000 people in all an at and Stadium, Dallas, Texas, and millions watching around the world will acknowledge me. So, Brock Lesnar will acknowledge me. Miami, acknowledge me, you know. So, Roman, Roman just going in. He's like, acknowledge me, acknowledge me, acknowledge me. Just please acknowledge me. Please, people, just acknowledge Roman. That's, that's all he wants. Just acknowledge him. That's all he wants. He Roman Reigns wants nothing more just for you to acknowledge him. So, yeah, man. Um. Anyways, man, we move on, man. This is a really good promo, though. Uh, Reigns was like, I'm Babe Ruth. I call my shot, and I don't miss. 
And of course, we saw the Usos out there because they had their match with the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders versus the Usos. I thought this was a pretty good tag team match for what it was worth. And of course, the Usos get the win, man. They retain their titles. Also, man, before the match, man, we saw the Usos, you know, beating, um, well, beating down, um, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura and Mad Cap, not Mad Cap Moss, but uh, <laughs> Rick Boogs. So who knows, man? Maybe, just maybe, that might lead to a multi-man tag match at Mania or something. Now, we were supposed to get Sheamus and Big E, but Sheamus and you know, Rich Holland destroyed the little um, vehicle there for Big E. So, you, of course, Big E and them were pissed off about that. So probably a tag team match for them at Mania or something. I don't know. But then we had the main event, man, Ronda Rousey and Sonya Deville. Complete domination like expected as this feud between Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair continues to heat up heading into WrestleMania. And like I said, man, this is a pretty good episode of SmackDown tonight. I really enjoyed all of it. I had little to no problem with SmackDown tonight. And um, yeah, man, that has been my official March 4th SmackDown review. Remember to subscribe. To the channel, left more content. This has been the kid DC Wrestling, and so on. Yeah.